Hey, good afternoon, everybody. So glad to see all you guys on here. My name is Lisa Brown, and as you know, my speech is about Teen Challenge. I want to tell you a little bit more about Teen Challenge, and then I want you to see if you can get involved and help us get um, Teen Challenge spread out so we can help more people. Um, Teen Challenge, what is Teen Challenge? Teen Challenge, we are a faith-based solution to the drug epidemic that is taking over um, everywhere. And Teen Challenge was started back in 1958. That's 62 years ago by a tall, skinny preacher named David Wilkerson in New York City. Um, he actually, God put it on his heart to go and help seven young teenage boys that were on trial for murder in New York. And he got there... He couldn't help those boys, so he went back home to Pennsylvania, and he asked the Lord, you know, I went where you wanted me to go. Why was I unsuccessful? And so God told him again to go back to New York City. So this time when he went back, he had already gained the respect of um, the drug addicts and the gang members because he had came to help those boys. Um, and so they were, uh, they were going to his revivals and he was holding um, church services and hardcore drug addicts were getting saved under his ministry. But he realized that they would get out and go back around their same old friends and they would get back in their addiction. And so that's when he started the first Teen Challenge Center in Brooklyn, New York. Um, that was 62 years ago, and now, today, Teen Challenge has grown tremendously. Um, we have 246 centers in the United States. We have 1,000 centers worldwide, and we are in 80 different countries. Teen Challenge is very well known. It's the largest and most successful program of its kind in the world. Um, we all here in, we're very fortunate here in Lexington because um, our executive office is in Savannah. We have a one-year residential program for men in Savannah. And our executive director, Jim Paracas, 20 years ago, two young men overdosed and died in Savannah. And him and some businessmen got together and they wanted to do something for addiction. And so we started... Um, our, it's Tennessee Valley Teen Challenge, and actually this is our 20th year anniversary, and so uh, he has a one-year residential program where the guys go, and they stay there a year. Um, they do a contract which they work on what's bothering them, what their issues are. Um, they get out to work because most drug addicts, you know, don't have a job or didn't want a job. But they get out to work and we teach them responsibility. And we have a very high success rate from that program. But from there, here in Lexington, I am the program director of our Lifeline six-month intensive outpatient program. And uh, we are in Lexington, Parsons, Jackson, just all the surrounding counties. Um, and what we do is we, these are for people that have not gotten so far in their addiction that they have to go to inpatient treatment. And so what we do is we meet two nights a week. They have to attend the church of their choice twice a week. Um, and you put somebody in church and they accept God and God's going to change their lives. And as many of y'all know, um, I was in addiction for 20 years and um, that's why Teen Challenge is so close to my heart is because God saved me at a treatment center just like Teen Challenge and that was 17 years ago and I've been with Teen Challenge for 16 years of those 17 and um, when I see someone change it just it just makes my heart smile but what I want y'all to do how can y'all help um, we have church services we have fundraisers, a lot of fundraisers, because we get very little funding uh, from the state because we use the word Jesus and because we use God. It's a bad thing because that's what works with, with recovery, but um, they won't fund us. And so we do church services. And what I would like for you to do is if you could get me your pastor's name, 
If you could mention Teen Challenge to him, and during these church services, we do the whole service. Um, he'll open up, turn it over to us. We do testimonies. We do songs. It is very powerful. It is an amazing service. Every church we go to um, just loves it. They love the. We try to go once a year. And so if you would talk to your pastor and help us get the word out more about Teen Challenge. We also have a walk-a-thon. And so we had to cancel it this year because of the corona. But during our walk-a-thon, we get people to sponsor us. And so if we reschedule it for the fall, I would love it if you could sponsor me. Or if you could even walk and get a sponsorship yourself. Because the grand prize at our walk-a-thon is $100 and a gas grill. So everybody tries to win that. Um, and also, we need volunteers. And I would love if any of you could come and speak to our class um, and let them know, the younger, younger um, participants, let them know that they don't have to live that life. Let, show them the life you're living and you're in school and what you're planning to be and that how much more successful they could be. Or I could even want you to go through the training and um, become a facilitator and facilitate in our classes. And um, Teen Challenge, I love Teen Challenge. I hope that you are willing to help me spread the word about Teen Challenge. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you back in class. Thank you.